Wade's due to... We interrupt this routine broadcast to bring you a special live broadcast from the National Weather Service Chicago regarding the potential for severe thunderstorms developing later this afternoon into this evening. We're currently monitoring an area of uh, strong to severe thunderstorms that have already developed across portions of central Iowa, and the expectation is these thunderstorms will track eastward during the day, during the rest of the afternoon into this evening and pose a threat of damaging winds, possibly significant damaging winds, hail, as well as some potential for tornadoes as they move into northern Illinois and northwest Indiana, with the prime timing being between 4 p.m. and 10 p.m. today. There is a potential that anybody will need to take cover, and be, uh, warnings may be issued at any point in time as these thunderstorms move in, so now would be the time to have a plan in place and be prepared to act. In addition to the threat of damaging winds, which could be significant hail and tornadoes, we're also looking at the threat of locally heavy and potentially excessive rainfall that could lead to flash flooding, as well as some potential for river flooding as well. So the National Weather Service's Storm Prediction Center has now issued a moderate risk of severe thunderstorms across the entire listening area, which includes all of northern and central Illinois, eastward into extreme southwest lower Michigan, and northwest Indiana. The primary driving factor for the moderate risk across northern Illinois and northwest Indiana is for the potential of a bow echo producing widespread, potentially significant damaging winds moving very rapidly across the area. The expectation is, is that once this line of thunderstorms uh, evolves over central Iowa, storm motion could be moved. The storms could be moving as quick as 60 miles per hour or potentially a little bit faster, which means the time to react from when a warning is issued needs to be very quick because the time when conditions are going to go from clear and calm to potentially 60, 70, or even locally over 80 mile per hour winds in a very damaging thunderstorm will be very short and conditions could change very rapidly this afternoon. So our primary hazard that we're looking at is damaging winds, and we've got fairly high confidence that there's going to be damaging winds over a large portion of the area. There is some potential for tornadoes, particularly if we get any isolated storms that develop out ahead of the main line. There's also a potential for brief rain-wrapped tornadoes to that sometimes accompany stronger bow echoes as well that occur within the line. Uh, but again, the primary hazard by far is going to be damaging winds. Uh, there's also some threat of large hail, and this is particularly going to be the case with any uh, more isolated cells that are developed out ahead of the line, though there could still be hail embedded within the faster-moving uh, squall line that we expect to move across the area. So, again, one of the hazards that we are concerned about, in addition to the damaging winds, is the potential for heavy rainfall. The air mass is extraordinarily moist with dew points in the low to mid-70s, and uh, the moisture extends high up into the atmosphere. So these thunderstorms are going to be very efficient rainfall producers and could easily produce rainfall rates of one, two, possibly even approaching three inches per hour in some spots. This type of excessive rainfall could very quickly lead to flash flooding, particularly in areas that are very recently seeing heavy rain, like uh, last night over portions of north-central Illinois from Winnebago County east into McHenry, as well as portions, uh, southern portions of the area from LaSalle County southeastward across uh, southern Livingston into Ford and Iroquois counties, as well as obviously any urbanized areas which are always prone to rapid occurrence of flash flooding when heavy rainfall occurs. In addition, uh, it's been relatively wet across the entire region for the month of June, so pretty much everywhere will have a threat for some flash flooding should sufficient rainfall occur. Uh, the other concern we do have is that there could be uh, river flooding that takes place, uh, particularly in the Rock River Basin, which is uh, some of the higher river levels right now. So that would be one of the more significant flood-prone areas as far as our main stem, main stem rivers go. So to wrap things up as far as timing goes, we're thinking right now that the uh, highest threat of severe weather from like areas from Rockford southward toward uh, LaSalle, Peru, east into the far western suburbs of Chicago will be between uh, 3 p.m. and 6 p.m., and this would include basically areas roughly west of a line from, like, uh, McHenry south to Pontiac and points westward. And then as we get into the 5 p.m. to 9 p.m. time range, essentially we're looking for areas point east, points eastward. So we're looking, again, from, like, McHenry to Pontiac eastward would probably stand the best chance of severe weather between 5 p.m. and 9 p.m. this evening. This timing might need to be refined slightly as the storms become more organized, especially if they begin to accelerate a little bit, which is not out of the question. But we feel pretty confident in these time windows at this point. So at this point, we uh, suggest that everybody make sure you have a plan and be prepared and know what to do when a warning is issued. It's fairly likely we will be going under a watch within the next few hours. And uh, soon after that, as storms move in, warnings will be issued. So we, this has been a live broadcast from the National Weather Service office in Chicago regarding the severe weather threat for this afternoon and evening. 
We now return to recorded programming. The dew point was 70, and the relative humidity was 66%.